the honourable member for Cape Breton Council. Charlie was up. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. It was the week before Christmas and our last week in this place. So here's one final ditty before they walk out the mace. Let me ask your indulgence and suggest that we pause to see what's in those letters to our dear Santa Claus. The opposition leader asked Santa for a fresh ride, a new Ford family wagon. He'd drive it with pride. <laughs> But to get something so bloated, the chances are slim, and from early indications, it seems Ford is driving him. <laughs> Gift wrap surprises are now sheer delights. Like when Rob Ford said au revoir to francophone rights. <laughs> he'll, ask, <laughs> he'll ask Santa for groceries is everyone's hunch because the member from Bose has been out eating his lunch. <laughs> the NDP letter provides a bit of a twist. A victory in Burnaby is not on their list. <laughs> and in Quebec, where block support has gone right through the floor, they're just begging old Santa to be relevant once more. <laughs> What's in the PM's letter? You need not ask twice. It's peace, hope, and justice, and a pipeline would be nice. <laughs> and my ask from Santa doesn't have to be seen. It's four more years of good government starting 2019. <laughs>